Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I'm back with the EFC 24-7 news reports now. It's the last week of November, next week. So we're coming towards the January transfer rumours kind of time. So I've got some to bring to you. It's weird saying that. It seems like last week when I was doing the summer ones, and obviously it's been a very strange year. So it's gone pretty quickly. Uh, dead slow because we've been stuck in, but I do think it's gone quickly in terms of we haven't actually had a year, really, properly. So uh, it's been a strange one, but yeah. Transfer rumours. One that's come up in the last week or so, quite prominently across Europe, really, in terms of rumours, and that's because it's coming from Spain, is Isco to Everton from Real Madrid, of course. And uh, one of those uh, outlets that were reported on it was Mundo Deportivo in Spain, quite a prominent outlet. He reported that uh, on 17th, which was three days ago, that Real Madrid, Real Madrid, Real Madrid are willing to sell Isco for £18 million uh, pounds and Everton are open to making an offer for the player. Madrid are willing to make such a deal happen after James Rodriguez joined Everton for no transfer fee. So it could be a similar deal, uh, which would be obviously very good for Everton. I personally think he's a better player than James Rodriguez, uh, which is which is debatable. But yeah, he's undoubtedly a, a player of star quality, like James. Uh, and then Sport, another prominent news outlet, in Spain, they reported the same rumour and said on the same day that Real Madrid plans to sell Isco this coming January and Carlo Ancelotti has asked the Everton boards to sign him. Ancelotti believes he can get Isco back to his best and Everton could bid €20 million Euros for the player but Madrid could hold out for €25 million. Euros. Now the, the James fee was it's still disputed to this day, uh, whether it was free, whether it was some kind of fee, uh, but different outlets reported different things. But, and it seems to be the same with the Isco deal. If if there is an Isco deal, and uh, Carlo Ancelotti has come out today, spoken about a potential deal, and squashed it. So, sorry about that. Uh, he said, It's not true that I am behind Isco. We haven't started thinking about the team for January market. So those comments as are, as they say here, bullshit. I, I, I didn't know that was in there. As, uh, apparently he said that to DirecTV Sports, Sport Co via Sport Witness. Uh, I saw he said some politer comments in the general press conference where he basically said, "Oh, it's uh, it's just rumours." I didn't know he said it was bullshit, but yeah, he, he's he's passed it off as rumours. And there was uh, rumours as well of another Real Madrid star potentially coming to Everton, uh, another midfielder as well as Sami Kadera, another player that Carlo worked with during his time in Madrid. And uh, he spoke about that rumour as well. He was asked about that today in his press conference. And he said, uh, I have a good memory of Sammy Kadera. I would love to work with him, but he's not the only one. I've had many good players, but to come here to Everton is another thing, which is similar to what he said when he was asked about bringing Zlatan Ibrahimovic to Everton last, last year, this time last year, ahead of the January market. So uh, probably not going to happen. It's nice to think about, though. Uh, and it's nice that we are being linked with quality players as well, of course. Uh, and another quality player we've been linked with, who we've, we've seen pop up multiple times in multiple windows. Uh, according to Calcio Mercado, the, uh, those Italian newspapers there and Everton rumours once again. Apparently Everton are lining up a bid for Juventus midfielder Adrian Rabiot in the January transfer window. Um, I think his agent is his mum uh, or dad, uh, certainly one of his parents. And he seems to be quite active in the media, so I'm not sure how much to hold by those rumours as we've seen them all before and nothing materialised of course uh, and another outgoing coming from Italy another that was an incoming but a potentially incoming but this one is a potential outgoing and it's not even a player it's Marcel Brands according to Il Tempo who reported that Roma are interested in appointing Everton's Marcel Brands as their new director of football uh, that's a load of rubbish I think I can say that with some certainty in terms of well it's not a load of rubbish that they are interested, but it's a load of rubbish that he would go. Um, they may well be interested in appointing Marcel Brands, but Marcel Brands isn't going anywhere. He's got a project and he wouldn't just jump ship uh, in the middle of it. So I can say that with some certainty, even though the interest may be genuine. Uh, th those are more reports coming out of Italy. And another coming out of Italy is from Ciro Venerato, a journalist, who is reporting that Napoli striker... Arkadius Milik was hoping for a move to Everton to materialise in the last transfer window. Not sure where he's got that from, whether it's the player himself, 
uh, debatable again. Uh, and an injury update as well from Carlo Ancelotti uh, uh, ahead of this weekend's 12pm uh, Sunday kickoff uh, at Fulham. And he said that Fabian Delph, Alan, and Richarlison are all fit and available for, the we for this weekend's match. Uh, Seamus Coleman is injured and not available for the match. And John Philippe Gabamin is two weeks away from ret returning to the training at Finch Farm. So it's a shame about Seamus, uh, but it's, it's, it's good news about Alan and Richarlison particularly. And obviously Fabian Delph uh, as well, if he comes off the bench. Another option, of course. And um, another potential outgoing coming from Fabrizio Romano. He's put himself up there with the, the most prominent journalist in the world, really, in the last couple of transfer markets. He's uh, revealed that there is interest in signing uh, Everton's Moise Keane from both PSG and Juventus. Uh, I've seen PSG sources talk about making a deal permanent and they have said that there's no uh, option to buy in the loan deal. Whether they could negotiate that separately remains to be seen and, and, and his former club Juventus is apparently interested in a, in a deal as well. But yeah, that's pretty much all the rumours of the last few days coming out of Everton. So let us know what you think of those in the comments. And thanks a lot for joining us back with the rumours once again. So yeah, join us next time on the Toffee Blues.